Great. So, so this is what I've spent the last week working on. I got this idea in my head after. Uh, oh, sorry. So I heard this announcement about Internet.org, um, which was launched. Facebook was the main backer, and it's it, the idea of this is to give the internet to more people who don't have it yet. And they're doing this in the form of an app called Internet.org, which doesn't actually give you the internet, but it gives you kind of a curated list of um, of apps. So it's kind of like rewinding a couple decades to when you like get internet and this is all you can really do. And then if you pay money, you can get more. So I thought that was kind of uh, dumb. And then I saw like the same week there's this announcement that Sprint is offering wireless plans that will like only connect to the social network of your choice, like Facebook or Twitter, which also seemed kind of lame. So we're like entering this strange world where you could have Facebook and not have the internet. So then I thought, okay, well let's like put the internet into Facebook somehow. And uh, how are we going to do this? So I have a Facebook page called JPG Internet. And I built a little app. So what you do is post a link on the wall. And you're going to post a link to itself. It's probably, like, there's a good chance it won't work because it's still unreliable, but we'll come back to it and see. Um, so what it should do is it should download that page and upload it to Facebook and then re reply to your post with a comment to the photo so that you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> services for themselves if most of their friends are only using internet.org because it's free. So if you're in that community, maybe you can even pay to use the internet, but you couldn't make something and like send a link to your mom and have her look at it on her phone because she's not paying for the internet. So it's this like strange world that just bugs me on some deep level. Um, so I have a lot of propaganda built into this page. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my, my goal is to sort of create this like ridiculous thing where people share the internet on Facebook <laughs> for their friends and it's the next wave of, of internet technology. <laughs> um, so what happens when we, when we get one of these articles? So first of all, it'll, it, it posts a, a full screenshot of the entire page, but I quickly, I mean that's not very useful, you can't read it. So if you click on it, what I've done is I've divided it into a photo album. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to scroll down and see the whole page. At the current, I have a maximum of 40 pages, <laughs> which I think is uh, it was not quite enough for a long article. But Facebook has a Facebook's graph API lets you post a maximum of 50 requests at once, and I need to some space in there for the comments and stuff. So if people need more pages, we could look at how to do that. Um, this is a long page, so this is a uh, battle for the net. So there's a lot of people who are working on this issue of net neutrality. Um, I think giving you a sense of what the internet would be like with only Facebook is not a bad way to show how ridiculous it is. Um, so all of these presentations are supposed to be technical. It's like my slides in here. Um, so there's two main parts to this. There's a one little server parses the <laughs> <laughs> parses the incoming stream from Facebook, and then it posts those to Firebase. Uh, and then I have another server that reads the, these tasks from Firebase and then posts them back to Facebook. Um, 
So, uh, look, okay, here. So, this is what a single event would like. One event occurs on the post on Facebook, and this is the event you get, which is kind of a mess, and it took me a long time to figure anything out of it. So, my server sort of denormalizes it to be a very simple field, which is easy to react to. And this is what it looks in Firebase. So Firebase, if you're not familiar, it's like a real-time database. It makes it extremely easy to subscribe to changes at a location in your database. So um, this is what my stream looks like. This is really hard to see. I can't expand the text, unfortunately. Um, but I basically have a pipeline. Um, I worked with Mary, and she had some great ideas of how to organize this code. I started out with this callback L. Um, but I have like validate job, start a timer, mark the job that it started, get the post from Facebook, get the image from the website, turn the image into a photo album, post the album to Facebook, and then mark the job complete. So with this structure, it became very easy to reason about the steps and test different steps. And um, the code for turning the image into an album. One thing I learned, I hadn't really done that much integrating um, using command line tools from within Note. I'd also look for wrappers where other people did it for me and I ran into problems. And it turns out it's like super easy. Because I'm using a library called Image Magic to do the image processing. So it was really easy um, to execute that script from Note. That's not readable. Um, yeah, so that's basically the project. Um, it's really slow. But if that's the only internet you have, it's better than nothing. Um, here are the Google search results page. You can't click anything, but you can see. <laughs> <laughs> it's much faster than. <laughs> <laughs> Cat pictures. So save the internet as JPG on Facebook. <laughs> um, here's a Wikipedia article. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> much slower than loading text, but yeah, <laughs> that's all you got. Coming to the United States. 